Hello folks, how you doing? Here I am, live from Conyalty Beach. Here's the scene. As usual, there's the mountains at this end. Some swimmers. And the city centre of that end. They've got pedalos, they've got water sports. They've got the big air beds. They've got a banana boat. And the banana boat, it says J-O-B-E. I don't know if you can see that from here. J-O-B-E. In Scotland, we do we jobbies. <laughs> jobbies, I think they're spelled J-O-B-B-Y. But it means caca. But when I seen that, J-O-B-E, it made me think of a big yellow caca. That's the kind of things I think about. Aye. So it's a beautiful day. It's basically in August in Antalya, it's a bit hot for a Scotsman with skin as white as mine. So I try not to stay in the sun too long. You can what I'm saying? And I don't put suntan cream on, because I heard, I read lots of conspiracy sites and all that kind of stuff, you know? And I heard that it's actually the suntan cream that gives you cancer. No, the actual sun. The sun is pretty good for you. As long as you don't can fry yourself to a burnt tomato, which is what I normally do. Last year I went to Olympus with a friend. In fact, it was two years ago now. And uh, I was in the sea all day, thinking I'm covered, but really, the salt water on my shoulders and that uh, basically turned to a tomato, a big bright red tomato by the end of the day, and it was totally agony. You know that way you try and levitate your clothes kind of thing. So, <laughs> I didn't learn because then this year I went on a boat trip and I didn't put any suntan cream on, I stayed on the boat and you didn't care with the wind how the sun's affecting you. And then I ended up, not quite as a tomato this time, more like an orange. Not quite bright red, but going in that direction. But I still didn't put suntan cream on because I didn't want skin cancer. So I just stay out the sun, that's the best bet. I try and avoid the sun. Oh look, they've got, uh, what do you call those things, jet skis. They've got jet skis here. I've only been in jet skis once. I find them a bit boring, but maybe that was 20 years ago, they weren't as fast. Those ones over there look like they've got some horsepower behind it. But I've got a motorbike. I didn't need any more excitement in my life as far as again, vehicle transportation goes because I didn't go that fast on the motorbike, but trying to drive in Turkey is like, you know, you need your wits about you. Let's just say that. Because at any time, anything can happen. Parked cars, for instance, just pull out for the side of the road and actually hit a parked car once. It was the parked. It was parked and then it pulled out and I whacked in at the side of it. The woman gets out the car, looks at the dent in her car and starts greeting and calling her husband. Meanwhile, I'm in total agony. I actually fractured my ribs banging into the side of her car. And when I seen her calling her husband and more concerned about the car than me, let's just say I was the best pleased. Yeah? I was rather fucking annoyed, to be honest with you. <laughs> Aye. So that's just new. And another time, I overtook a bus. And uh, normally I, I try and pay lots of attention and overtook this bus. And then there's this van parked in this dual carriageway where it sh there shouldn't have been parked at all. So I got a bit of a fright when I seen that in, whacked into the back of it and done a Superman. Then the first things in my mind is to get up because I thought my legs were going to get run over by the oncoming traffic. And I got a big huge bruise in the side and I never had health insurance and I had to lie on my sofa for five days, hating my existence, you can. Saying, is this what my life's come to? Isn't it sad that these days you can't go to hospital if you're ill unless you've got money to pay for it? So much for the doctors and their Hippocratic oath, you know? Anyway, here's another thing they've got at this beach here. This kind of beach bar thing going on. Where they serve cold drinks and they charge it for lilos. When the council changed here, they put all these lilos in place and they said it's all going to be free. We're the new council, by the way. Everything's free. That didn't last long. 
and they charge for the Lilos now, which is why I bring a towel. So, anyway, that's my wee Facebook life for you. Hope you enjoyed that yin, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Bye bye.